In terms of managing our oral oncology drugs, one of the keys is to use a specialty pharmacy network um, with individuals that are trained in the, those drug classes and those drugs to really understand who should be getting them, what the side effects are, so there's good and high quality patient counseling for adverse events. The 15-day supplies is going to help ensure that uh, there isn't waste. The other trend that we're going to see is we see more oral oncology agents uh, coming to market. We're going to see a shift we see forecast in oncologists that are billing and obtaining reimbursement through their infusion of their oncology drugs to now having to re have a different revenue model where we're going to be paying them more for cognitive services as, and then the medications that they were making money off of that through an infusion will be now being paid through the pharmacy benefit. I don't know that there's truly a hope or ex expectation that it'll be a, a certain number. We just see that more and more of the uh, products that are being uh, submitted for approval to the, to the FDA and in the pipeline will, are oral agents. We know that there's a, you know, a number of high quality, great chemotherapy agents that are infused and will continue to need to have them. and. and will be continue to be infused. So I'm, you know, I'm not sure I can give you a number there, but we do see that there will be more and more of the cancer agents that will be oral in formulation.